Hello, everybody. Wait a minute. Black screen. There you go. We're good. <laughs> I started my intro and the screen was still black. Anyways, hello, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> Terrible intro. I have, I have it within my power to just stop the recording and start again and just actually have it go right. But where's the fun in that? Let's jump in to another run here. Let's randomize another character. Oh, Eden again so soon, but I do love Chaboy. I do love Eden. He's a lot of fun. I do want to do an Eden streak at some point, but at the same time, ooh, that's kind of good. Super Meat Boy and the D7. Yeah, I do kind of want to do um, a Eden streak at some point, but the only thing kind of putting me off ever doing that is just the fact that, like, I have so many good thumbnails for different characters. It seems like a bit of a waste to... Um, to actually just stop using those. <laughs> also, I mean, Eden streaks are fun, but variety is the spice of life, and um, other characters are always good for that. These, this enemy, this this poopy boy, get him with the uh, get him with the old the old mum's razor. I just walked right into that one, didn't I? Get him with the old mum's razor, and that'll do us good. We've all, we've got really good stats off the back here, but I think that's off of the back of having um, having Super Meat Boy to start. Obviously, we get the extra heart and the extra stats and stuff, so. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. For the question of the day today, I'm going to ask, what's something you do to save money? What's something you do to be frugal? And if you're not the sort of person or you're not in a situation where you have to worry about money, what is something that the person that you, like your, your mom or dad or whatever does to be frugal? Because my, uh, my mum raised me to be quite a frugal person, raised me to be someone that cares about money a lot and make sure I don't spend it on pointless shit. Which is why I'm not in debt, which is really nice. Also, I didn't even talk about the fact that I got triple shot, but it's rather nice. Um, yeah, uh, always raised me to be someone that like makes sure I care about my money, and I'm not too uh, I'm not too frivolous with my spending. So I always try to be that way. I always try to make sure that I'm not being careless. Uh, also, I didn't even realise that this is an XL floor. Didn't even cross my mind. Um, and yeah, it's something I've tried to sort of stay true to for a while. So there's a few different things. I, I think one thing that I do find really funny is like. I see no problem, like, with, with the with the job that I have and the money I'm on, I, I'm, I'm fairly okay with, like, going out for food and buying cocktails and stuff every now and again, as long as it's not, like, too often, I'm fairly okay with it, like, I'll probably be going out tonight because I've got some friends coming over, um, do you know what, I'll do this room again as well, why not? Yeah, and it's it's something that I've kind of become more accustomed to, especially with where I live, it's a little bit more expensive, but I've, I've gotten kind of used to it now and it doesn't really bother me that much to do. Um, but there's still some things that I do that are, like, ridiculously frugal and, like, kind of stupid. Um, and as well, like, I'm a bit of a, f f as any of you might already know by listening to, um, to my commentary throughout, I'm a bit of a food snob. Uh, I, I really like my expensive foods, um, and I, d I, I very rarely go for, like, the cheaper product. I always try and go for, um, oop, we farted some corn. Um, I always try and go for, like, the, the sort of higher quality products and stuff, but, like, like, one of my favorite examples of me and my girlfriend being needlessly frugal is, um, the other day we went to the store to get salmon, which is not, uh, not a cheap thing to buy, really. It's, it's, it's not super expensive, but it's, it's one of the more expensive that sort of, would you call it a meat? It's not really a meat, is it? But, like, one of the more expensive proteins, should I say. Um, is it even a protein? I have no idea. I'm, I'm probably wrong. Whatever. Um, ooh, nice. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's, it's probably one of the more expensive ones. I don't know why I chose to redo this room. Don't ask me. Um, but one time we went to go buy, uh, went to go buy some from the store, um, and we, we got there, and we were like, hmm, I think it was like £3.25 or something like that. I can't even remember how much it was. Maybe it was a little more than that. I don't actually remember specifically because it was quite a, quite a while ago now. But we went to the shop and we're like, hmm... We know for a fact that it's cheaper just up the street. And it was like a, a 10, 15 minute walk to get it for like 25 pence cheaper. And I'm like, yeah, we're making that walk. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> hmm. Dull. I kind of want Dull Razor woman. I need to pause when it sneeze. Okay, the sneeze went away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Dull Razor. The D7 is really good. And the Dull Razor does nothing for us right now. But... I really, really, really like Dull Razor, and I think it's an item that doesn't really get enough credit. I think there's a lot of a lot of ways in which it can be very good. Also, Mum's Razor after the buff is incredibly good. Just get the bleed effect on any enemy that moves around a lot, and you're good to go. 
Well, obviously stationary enemies doesn't do too much, but like spiders and bosses that move around a lot, it's great. So I'm hoping we get Dingle here. Oh, um, Jesus Juice was invisible there. Okay. This guy's a good one to get bleeding because he moves around a decent amount, especially during this phase here. We have the explosive variety of plum here. It's kind of funny. There you go, getting bleeding again. Oh, he left a fire. I didn't even notice it. Damn it, getting bleeding again. There you go. Just does so much damage. He goes kaboom. Um, I don't think we're going to go devil deal here. We just don't really have what it takes. Um, I'll try and go mother this time around. Why not? I'll try and go mother. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. But yeah, like, um, it was just, it was just, it's a really stupid thing. Like we, we, we had, like we could easily afford the extra 25, I don't know why I stood there, that was stupid. The extra 25 pence that it would have been to just grab it there and then. But I was like, no, no, no. We're going to go for a 15 minute walk just to save 25p. <laughs> it's just silly, but it's also like kind of, it's kind of the mindset that you've got to have if you want to be someone that saves a decent amount. Like, um, I've always been like, like I was just saying earlier, I've always been someone that tries to stay out of debt. My parents kind of taught me pretty well about the fact that um, that, that you, you never really want to be in debt if you can help it. Uh, it, it is difficult, like, to, to stay out of debt. Um, obviously, the circumstances in which you can't really help it. And I do have student loan debt, but I, that's kind of different. I don't think that really counts the same way that regular debt does. Um, at least in my opinion. Uh, so, it, but, it, yeah, like, generally, I try to make sure that that's something that I don't do. And I would advise all of you the same, very much so. By the way, eye drops is so good. So good with, um with triple shot. It's clearly doing a lot for us here. Oh god. Oh, the, them dudes came at me fast. Because we're firing like double shots every now and again. It's really nice. Swarm. It's really good. I'll take swarm. Do you know what? Let's use our crack key here. Unfortunately, a very terrible room for us to get. But we got two bombs out of it. So not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to say there is... Some circumstances in which it's unavoidable, sometimes it is just going to be... Um, can we upgrade Mom Teresa, maybe, once we get to 10 cent here? Uh, it's going to be something that happens sometimes. Um, you could have, uh, uh, like, an accident, especially if you're in America, obviously, healthcare. That's probably going to put you in some debt. But in the UK, not as many reasons to uh, to get into debt, in my opinion. Just, for me, it's like, like, I have a few friends and stuff that are not amazing with their money. I'm not going to, like judge them for it if they want to as long as they're living their life the way they want to live their life that's fine by me i don't really care but i will say one general bit of advice that i've kind of learned through my friends and through other people is if you have to buy something on finance and you can't afford it right there and then don't buy it because you can't afford it <laughs> one thing that i see a lot of people do and i've seen people do before is especially with cars is they buy them on finance and it seems like a decent idea at the time it seems like well i can't afford it now um so i'll just put it on finance and i mean finance does have its place if you really need something and you know you're gonna be able to pay it off guaranteed then it is a bit different but generally for me i i kind of think that with finance what you've got to consider what do you do if you lose your job if you if, if if you're if you're paying for something on finance, for example, say you get a car and it's like two hundred pound a month on finance, it might be some money that you can easily afford right now, and it really doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But if you lost your job, would you still be able to afford it? Because the thing is, there ain't no way they're gonna let you stop paying for a month or two months or whatever if you lose your job. They're, they're still gonna expect you to pay it, and I feel like that's a part of it that gets um heavily underestimated and not really thought about thoroughly and it, it's a shame because that's that's why a lot of people get into more debt because the thing is when when stuff like that happens you then um you then end up getting into more debt to save yourself from the debt you put yourself in and it becomes this sort of endless cycle where you're, you're just kind of stuck and I've, I've also had friends that are in that exact same situation where um, during university, if, if, in case people didn't know, when you're in university, you can, at least in the UK, you have an overdraft on your uh, student bank account, where essentially, no, for a normal bank account, if you overdraw, which means taking more money out than you actually have, um, if you overdraw, the way that it'll work is that you will, um, 
you will have to pay that money back with interest. Whereas your student account, you can still overdraw by about £1,500 it is, I think, without, um, that's kind of decent. Nah, I think I'll take rosary. I think I'd rather have rosary. Um, but you can overdraw for about 1500 but you don't have to pay any interest on what you pay back, at least for, I think it's four years. So the three years that you're at uni and a year after. And I, I had a few friends that um, were heavily in their overdraft. And honestly, sometimes it is out of necessity. Unfortunately, um, your student loan money isn't always going to cover your basic needs um, in terms of like your rent and stuff. So that is a genuine thing that might have to happen. Like, I don't judge that at all. But one thing that is problematic is when people can clearly get out of their overdraft or clearly stay out of it but don't and just buy a bunch of takeaways and go out every night and then they get to the point where they have to leave university and they're still £1,500 overdrawn and it stays that way and it perpetuates and they don't end up actually getting out of their overdraft anytime soon and essentially get themselves stuck so that when when they actually have to start paying it back they have to pay it back with interest and it's 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 quite a it's quite a hefty sum um you can get yourself in some serious shit and that kind of trickles onwards and it essentially puts you in this situation where you basically never feel like you have any actual money of your own because all the money you earn goes straight towards paying off your overdraft and if you want to spend any money on yourself you have to then take more out of that overdraft thus keeping you in the overdraft even longer and it is just a really difficult cycle to get out of so yeah i definitely suggest to anyone that can help it to try and try and stay out of debt whenever you can. It's really bad. <laughs> I think I think one of those one of the, the, the biggest causes, at least in the UK of debt, is people wanting to look like they have more money than they have. Which basically leads to um leads to them buying things that they can't actually afford on finance or um with with loans. Um, and then not being able to pay them back properly. Oh, I lost my angel deal chance. I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, and it just, it, it means that people get stuck in debt constantly. And it, it just, it just keeps going and keeps going. It's, it's sad to see it is. Um, I know that obviously for some people, it's a little more difficult than others. You just got to have that self-control sometimes to realize. It's also like an, another, another thing I, I've noticed before. Uh, I'm really sad that I lost my uh, devil deal here. I probably was going to lose it anyways, because this floor is not exactly easy. Um... But I do have Swarm, which would have helped protect me from um, from projectile damage, at least. Uh, it is when people are, like, in debt or in their overdraft. If, if that was me, personally, I'd be eating rice and beans every meal until I was out of debt. I'd be, like, spending, like, maximum of, like, 50 pence per meal. And people are like, oh, no, I'll just get a takeaway. It's like, no, don't get a takeaway. Like, what the hell? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see what items I get this for. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the setup I've got right now. But at the same time, it's, it's very vanilla. What we've got right now is very vanilla. Um, in fact, I don't think we have a single modded item. Oh, what in the hell? Thank God we had swarm for that room. Holy hell! Ooh, so let's leave Apple there. I think I will reroll. You know, this run is interesting, but the fact that we have ze zero modded items tips the scale for me a little bit. It makes me think, hey, we could be getting something a little more interesting if we, uh, if we reroll. And of course, the reroll bug is fixed now, so we can actually reroll without getting all planetarium items anymore, which is always nice. But yeah, one thing that um, that my mum has always been good at is she's always been really good at finding deals. So, like, we're going on holiday to Greece um, in... When are we going? Uh, in October. And my mum found us the deal because they're going as well. My parents are going about a week before us because they're going for their 30th wedding anniversary. And me and my girlfriend are going to go for a week and meet them out there. Um, and, um, yeah, she found, like, the deal for us and everything and... We ended up getting, like, the whole holiday for a week for, like, I don't know, was it, like, £750? Which is really, really good. That's the hotel, that's the plane, that's everything. That's It's insane. It's so good. Um, and, yeah, she, she's just ridiculously good at that sort of stuff. It's always nice to see when she's able to find, like, an absolutely amazing deal. Okay, I'm going to say that I'm probably not going to keep my devil deal um, alive here, my angel deal even, because... For one, it's Hornfell, and for two, it's, um, yeah, Eternal Hornfell. In fact, I might not even survive. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
This is really tricky. Hornfell's always a boss I have a real hard time with. Just because you can't, you can't really use bombs against him. Not because he's like bomb immune or anything. He does take damage from bombs, but he's just so hard to hit. And then him, having him eternal means he spawns loads of extra stuff and other enemies. And you can just see how little damage I'm doing. It's just, he spends so little time on screen that you kind of have to put yourself in harm's way if you want to deal good damage to him. I'm doing the, um, I'm doing this first to see if I can get like a good devil or angel deal prior. Oh no. I might die in here. There's a very strong possibility. We'll re-roll it if we do. Okay, we didn't. So, we'll definitely take that because we want the reroll and we definitely want the black heart. Okay, let's go do a reroll. Oh, there's a door mimic there. God damn you. <laughs> Fuck door mimics. Every time, every time. I need to just check my phone every now and again. Because I have friends coming over soon. Right, reroll. So, surprisingly, <laughs> we yet again re-rolled into no modded things apart from we got the saucer. But, I think damage-wise, we've actually got on an upgrade out of Cricket's Head here, and we got Capricorn as well. We actually re-rolled our, um, re our all-stats up into another all-stats up, so pretty decent in that regard there. Right. Let's keep her going. We also have a few swarms left, and I didn't realize they'd stick around. Maybe should have tried to get a full sweep before we roll in, but sadly I didn't know that was going to happen. We kept the rosary, though. That, that, that didn't re roll. I can never remember whether your trinket is supposed to re roll or not. Obviously, it isn't. He there. Health is not looking too great. Looking for some nice modded items here. I'm really hoping we can get a good angel deal going. I'm trying to think of what what angel deal would really um, really bite my biscuit right now. Oh, really? That was kind of a rude room. I walked right in and the guy walked into me. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Intriguing indeed. I do have a mod that skips the, um, the mum chase. So I'm going to figure out exactly how that works in a moment. I'm guessing once you press all the buttons, it will um, it will spawn. After that, you'll have to actually go into the room and it'll let you out. I don't know how it works. It might not. The mod might just not be working right now. I don't know. We'll find out. Range up as well. Nice. Nice kill on those guys for us there. get that back over to you. Oh, because this guy's in the middle, it's really hard to land his own bombs on him. And he has insane armor. At least we're stunning him. We've got ourselves what looks like a book here and somewhere else. I'll take the other. Rainbow baby. Reasonably happy with that. Ow. Health is pretty bad right now. What is this room? I don't understand. Okay, the room's over, apparently. That was strange. There is golden champion belt in here. But I can't afford it right now. Let's grab that. Double luck upgrade. We'll grab that. The unknown card. It teleported me to an error room. Well, that kind of... That kind of fucks things. Didn't expect that. Um, that fucks things up real bad, actually. Hmm. Do I want to... I think I want to skip out on this, to be honest. I, I know it's a bit cowardly, but I didn't expect it to take me to an error room. I didn't read the description, and it kind of ruins my run a little bit because I can't get the uh, knife piece now. Um, spawn... 3.100 point... Wait, is it 3.100? 3.50? No? I can't remember. It's 5.300 maybe. Yeah, okay. Point one. A bit cowardly, I realise. Not bending to the w the whim of the... Of the mod. Of the game, but... I feel like I'm already on a bit of a rocky roller coaster here with my health, so... 
Forgive me. Forgive me for I have sinned. I also need health to actually get to Mausoleum is something that I've just remembered. I don't currently have HP to get to Mausoleum. Now, I do have enough money to get the uh, golden thingy now, but I didn't earn it lawfully, so I'm not going to take it. No, I got hit again. Looks like I'm not going to be able to go there anyways. Oh, I was really hoping for a full, uh, full health there. Hmm. I might die doing the boss fight anyways. Half a heart doesn't bird well, I'll be honest. I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. That's both of them sorted. We did get Marrow, which helps us. Where is our mausoleum door? Oh, here it is. Hmm. So where's my knife piece too, exactly? Did I, did I not check this room? Well, I do have a mod that's supposed to skip this. So I'm a little confused right now, I'll be honest. It's not here either. Here. Let me just check the mod. Let me go check the mod. One second. Steam, workshop, subscribed items. No more Mother Shadow. Easy knife piece two. This mod simply adds knife piece to um, spawn after killing Mausoleum Mom. Okay, makes sense. Which is actually an okay trade-off, because now I don't get the um the, I don't get the knife throughout the, the mausoleum. I have to fight the mausoleum without the knife uh, familiar, which is actually a bit of a downgrade. I'm happy with that, that's a good trade-off. So we get it at the end of mausoleum. I like that idea, that's good. Still, we could die before then anyways. We've not got anything too wacky going on right now, I will say. I'm hoping this floor uh, spices things up a notch. You never know. Wait a minute. We cannot fire at these guys. It will be ca catastrophic. Thank you, I guess. Shot speed up. Getting a lot of positive pills right now. That's really nice. I always forget if Mausoleum does full heart damage. I don't think it does, does it? I don't come here enough. It does not. That's really good. Still a very vanilla run, though. But we have a lot of luck, which means that that should proc reasonably often. We didn't get our angel deal either, did we? A 100% chance. Wait, what? Oh, did I, I got hit. I must have got hit during the fight. I don't remember. Maybe I just went into the mausoleum door before going into my angel deal. It's also possible. Fire, fire, quickly, quickly, fire. Oh my god. This has been a moderate shit show. We got a golden pill no, this time? No, no, not again. Fair enough. We lost some health there, apparently. What do these enemies do again? Okay, they just like fire shots surrounding them. Oh god, didn't see that guy. Oh, they spawn ghosties as well. Humbling bundle here is kind of nice. I probably should buy that HP just in case. Looking for soul hearts now. Alabaster box there. 
I think Alabaster Box is probably a little dangerous at this stage. Stopwatch would be nice. We get Stopwatch quite a lot, don't we? And we can afford it as well. Nice. Yeah, we get Stopwatch quite a lot. It's an item that isn't particularly rare for me. I don't know if it has a, a degraded rarity um, within, uh, within the shop. It probably should if it doesn't. Like, as in, like, show up a little bit less often. Okay, Mars 1 is about to be done. This guy, excuse me. Enemies that sit over rocks, why do you exist? Look at this guy, just sitting over rocks, no. You, you, dude, sitting over rocks, just die. Stop it. Okay, wasn't expecting Heretic here. I don't know why, to be fair. There's a boss that can appear on this floor. Hopefully our fires will prevail here and do a good amount of damage. Get some ghost bombs in there as well, why not? I don't know how I'm going to dodge this, I'll be honest. But I managed it. Yeah, honestly, the fire's going pretty well. We're doing a good damage here. He got taken out pretty rapidly. Still no angel deal. We haven't got a single deal this entire run. Reroll me again. Damn it. I definitely would have taken a reroll there. Power pill. Eternal boss room. This could be the angel deal that we've been waiting for. Urn of Souls. Urn of Souls is pretty good. I'll take Urn of Souls. Excuse me. Don't pick that back up again. Not what I asked for at all. Whoa, this... As an eternal enemy, this guy is a bit much, don't you think? I'm guessing being this close to him isn't the, uh, the right way to fight him. Dude, that is an insane amount of fires, though. What, what on earth? Ooh, we gotta fight the siren here. Don't steal my familiars, you little hussy. Ooh, I forgot about this. It synergizes where it fires the other fires as well. This is actually a really good get for us now. Mixing with Bird's Eye, it's really nice. Ooh, he's RGB. He's RGB. What does the thimble do? We'll never know. Let's try and get some souls first before we start using this. Whoa! That was, that was a cheeky little spider there. I thought it was a button. It was just a spider. <laughs> Oh, we got an Eternal Planetarium, not Eternal, but like a Planetarium boss room too. I do, I do wish that they didn't show up at every single run. I might be able to actually tweak that if I go here. Um, we'll see. Heaven's Call. <laughs> room spawn chance. It's only a 20% chance to spawn. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Let's turn it down to like... Because I've seen one every single run. Let's just turn it down to a 10% chance. Zodiac, honestly, no thank you. But I know that I can bomb this to instead get a bunch of um, consumables, which ended up being really nice. Oh, we got a butt. I don't know what the butt does, but we're melting it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's firing snowballs and everything. I'm guessing this is because it's um, Uranus. Yeah, we got him. That's a really cool boss, though. Oh, and he drops poops when he dies. That's funny. So, this is tricky. We could get rid of our first item for a secret room item, but our first item is, um... Oh, wait, no, is this a first item? I can't remember. Remove the oldest spawn two, yeah. It's removing Capricorn, which doesn't seem like a good idea. But I feel like because we've got the, uh, the urn now, it's a little more plausible. Uh, 
Damn, that was pretty terrible. That was equally terrible. Okay, we definitely need to find a secret room here. Okay, you literally just hold forward to complete that room. Damn you, game. Damn you, game. The teleporters are in the way. Right, try and find secret room here. We need it. Not quite sure where it might be. Ah! Fire v fire! I have that too, sir. I mean, I got hit by yours, but still, shush. Damn it, why do we have to get this on a place where we don't have mapping? I really have no idea where Secret Room is right now. It's very up in the air. Didn't even think it was there, I just thought, why not? Could be. Rubber fly is good. Yeah, I have no idea where Secret Room is at all. No idea. Could be here. It's not there. Health isn't looking super hot here, is it? Damn it, secret room. Where are you? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, we got one. We got one. I am taking the risk. This could be terrible. Oh, wait, no. I got rid of... Didn't get rid of the one I was expecting. Gave us some truly, truly trash items here. Vanishing Twin does almost nothing for us. And Samson's Chain is awful. In fact, I think it's negative. Yeah, Vanishing Twin, we have like one boss that it can activate on. It's pretty awful for us, to be honest. And even then, I, I, I don't think I want it to activate. <laughs> So there's our knife piece too. That's a really, really good solution to that. I like that. We did get an angel deal. Oh my god. And Pascal Candle, I think, is a must take right now. We chop, chop, chop through this door. Why do you miss, knife? Do knife, why can you even miss? Just hit the door. Thank you. So much fire. It just destroys all of our shots, so it's fucking great. Of course, this isn't going to be a great tactic later on, because we are going to run out of fuel fairly early. Whoa, that was a really cool attack there. Eternal Mum's Heart, you've got my respect. Right. Down we go. I would still very much like a, a full run reroll at this point. I feel like we're still not doing too hot. Also, we got no mapping again. Just awkward at this point. Keep moving through that. What on earth happened there? I bet that was Samson's chain hitting a bomb rock or something stupid like that. Why are rocks just randomly blowing up here? It's confusing. Samson's chain. Why are you the worst thing to ever exist? Also, we're going to have to fight a double boss on this floor. And unless it's Rot Gut, I don't think we can fight a double Rot Gut. But I'm really not prepared. Ooh, ooh, that's nice, nice, nice. we got the huge boulder. Huge boulder is a nice, nice chunky damage up. Giant boulder, even. Yes. Also, Pascal Candle here just being amazing for us. Are you eternal? I can't tell. 
This floor looks really good, the design of it. Okay, here's our boss. Hampton's Chain, if you could stop doing what you're doing. I mean, you did discover a giant boulder for us, so I'll give you that. I'm trying to keep all the souls I can for the boss fight. Oh, yes. Double of this guy. This is going to be a lot of fun. This isn't a hard enough boss as it is. I mean, the fire should provide us with a very, very decent setup for this, because there's going to be a lot of fire sticking around in general, as you can see. I'm just doing multiple damage to every single one of them, and we got more souls there as well. Actually didn't go too badly. Not bad at all. Didn't get great items out of it, but not bad at all. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really sure how we're feeling for Mother here. I'm not really sure how we're feeling. Seems to be a bit of a risky bisky. Kind of want to bot out of this room because this room seems like AIDS. Yep, yep, it does. It's not it's a dead end too. So we'll we'll be taking our leave, thank you. You you, you made the bomb miss? Are you kidding me? You serious, kid? That's how you want to play this, is it? The Dom Nick there. Ow, I got hit again. I don't know, my health is looking real bad. I have a rotten heart as well, which means I'm going to take more damage on that too. What the shit? That explosion was huge. Wasn't expecting that to hit me. There's another dead end. Bollocks. Also, no mapping again. What the hell? It's like three floors in a row with no mapping. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, God. Things ain't looking too hot, Capitan. I do appreciate my buddy in a box just deleting enemies instantly sometimes. That's rather nice. Let's have a cracked key there. Do not like the idea of this room. Luckily, it was actually not too bad. Perks is... I think perks is a must right now. We need more health before going in here, though, don't we? Okay. We got more health. Right. It's got to be done. We take in. We use perks. We use the holy fires. Honestly, I love our buddy in a box right now. He's doing amazing work. We're all out of soul fuel. Probably the best buddy in a box we could have gotten for this setup. We've got no bombs, which is unfortunate. Dude, did you... There's like a second left. Did you have to do that attack, really? Thank God we got perks. We might be able to do this with perks. I'm not saying we will, but we might. Our buddy in a box is going to do insane damage regardless. It's the hand, the hand damage. I don't think scale. I think it's flat. I don't know how I weave through that just then. Don't ask me. The only thing I will say is it's slightly problematic. Is the hand does in fact um, out does in fact unfortunately push the boss around a little bit, which changes some of his patterns ever so slightly and makes him a little bit harder to dodge. I really hate being above for this, but we have fires. Fire! Fire! Shoot a fire! Oh my god! You've been shooting fires forever, and now when there's a barrage of shots, you're like, eh, don't really feel like it. Oh my lord. Where's all the fires gone? Where's all our luck gone? Oh, I see. I see. The saucer gives us plus three luck until we get hit. So we've lost a bunch of luck, so we're firing nowhere near as many fires now. Oh, what? But we did it. That was a tricky one. The perks pill was the absolute saviour of the day. 
my god, it really was. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.